killer. What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another Borto episode review. Today we're reviewing episode 16, and the title for this episode is Crisis, The Threat of Failing. And basically just this entire episode is morally centered around Denki and Iwabe, mainly and throughout the whole episode. And I really liked the episode, kind of just personally myself, because all these episodes in the past couple weeks have been, you know... It, they felt really fillery and it didn't really seem like they had a place like in the whole series as a whole but this is definitely like a really fillery episode actually it is rather a filler episode because it's a it's more so a character de uh, development episode between Denki and Iwabe and I didn't mind it really whatsoever because it, w it more so gravitated towards th those two characters rather than Boruto, and I really liked that because I, I, to me it felt like Boruto was starting to get like really stale and, and boring just kind of seeing Boruto do whatever he does on a daily basis and not seeing any other character doing what they need to do on this specific day. So the title of the episode is literally what's going on. Basically uh, Denki is having troubles uh, performing it like any ninjutsu and, and such other things and the beginning of the episode actually starts off with Denki trying to climb up this wall and using his chakra uh, and you know infuse chakra into his feet so he can walk up the wall but he can't do it because like I said before he has trouble actually performing any sort of ninjutsu in general and so this whole episode is basically him trying to just Get get the uh, get the knack of having chakra control and f use the flow of your chakra to be able to put it down to your feet so you can climb up the wall, and that's basically it. The epi another part of the episode with Iwabe is that he really sucks at like written tests and such other things, and so Denki is actually really better at that rather than ninjutsu, ninjutsu test and whatever such other things. So he helps Iwabe, you know, basically do better at written test and ninjutsu test and Iwabe helps Denki and ninjutsu test rather than written test and in the episode in the beginning of the episode actually uh, Denki actually kind of embarrasses Iwabe a little bit by saying that he doesn't want to repeat a year because of this ninjutsu test with being able to have to climb up this wall and if you don't know for some reason Den not Denki I'm sorry Iwabe actually repeated a grade and that was kind of the whole main reason why later on in the episode Iwabe actually helps Denki because overall Iwabe, I, I always kind of liked him. He seemed like a really interesting character, but in, in this episode especially he was more so a favorable character mainly because of the fact that it shows that he, you know, kind of gives a shit about people and he has a heart of gold. And so he helps Denki without asking for anything in return. And just kind of helps him, you know, help him control his chakra a lot better. And, you know, and Denki asks him if, if he's doing okay and, like, his homework or whatever stuff like that. Just written, just anything about, like, a written test, just such other things, right? And Iwabe actually tries to kind of lie and hide it from him. And he's like, oh, I'm doing okay, you know, it's all just whatever, right? And then something really cliche happens his, uh, like a paper uh, or a test or whatever flies out of his pocket that he had kind of like crumbled up in there then he grabs it sees that it's like horribly incorrect in almost every single answer and that's pretty much it you know from there on in they kind of help each other out mut mutually so that was really good uh, I forgot to mention this but um, really early in the episode after the whole like stuff happened with Denki not being able to climb out the wall Excuse me. Uh, Denki uh, is still trying to climb up the wall, right? And then Metal Lee actually so shows up and he's trying to explain to him maybe you should start off by like trying to get the hang of doing like actual like physical training and shit like that and a, a whole bunch of other things. So they go to this area and then they start climbing up this this wall, I guess, this rock wall or mountain or whatever, right? 
Uh, Metal Lee, of course, because his father is Rock Lee, and we'll get into Rock Lee in a second here. Uh, Metal Lee's doing, you know, pretty well. He's climbing up this wall. Denki's not really doing that good of a job. He actually ends up falling off of the mountain, the side of the mountain, rather. And Rock Lee comes out of nowhere, and he actually helps out Denki and pretty much saves him, I guess. And Rock Lee, when he showed up, I don't know why, I was just immediately laughing because I was like, oh shit, and I thought it was really funny, but something about Rock Lee that changed from now, from part one at Shippuden, is that he doesn't seem like he's his own character anymore, rather he, his mannerisms and other things seem more like Guy, and I don't know if that bothers me just yet, maybe because it's just like this one time that we've seen him thus far that I don't really know how to feel about it. But so far, it's like, it doesn't really bother me, but it's like, Rock Lee is like Guy now, and then Metal Lee is like Rock Lee from part one and such others. And I'm just like, I just don't know how to feel about it yet. I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of weird. But anyways, we do continue off with the rest of the episode. Uh, Denki and is helping Iwabe with like um, reading books and those other things and getting smarter because of that. And apparently Iwabe has a, a better time learning when he has to like infuse his chakra in some way. So whilst they're out in like this restaurant place or whatever, I guess they're they're eating and, and while also studying at the same time. Iwabe then hangs himself uh, upside down from the ceiling whilst infusing chakra, of course, to his feet. And supposedly, that, I guess, helps him. And the rest of the episode from there on end is basically just Denki and Iwabe helping each other out. Iwabe using his chakra, or infusing his chakra to his feet, so that way he can actually, you know, understand things a lot better than he w normally would. Whilst Denki is obviously trying to infuse his own chakra to his feet so that way he can climb up walls and other things. Something else funny happens in the episode and this actually ties into to like a really funny moment with Inogen and later on towards the end of the episode. But Boruto shows up to where Denki, Wabe, and a couple of others, mainly Inogen, Shikadai, and Metal Lee, and even Mitsuki as well. They're all there, they're kind of just watching uh, Denki and Iwabe like T uh, teach each other and such other things. Boruto shows up with a couple of just with some food, some burgers actually, and he just thought is everybody. He was just like it was everybody training well and sort of things, and he thought that uh, they deserved a treat, I guess. And so he bought him some food, and even people that weren't even like really training, he bought some burgers for them as well. They eat it. And then they immediately notice that it's actually Im uh, just extremely spicy and it, I guess, doesn't really taste that well, I guess. And Boruto was just like, well, I had the habanero burger from uh, from before. That's what I was eating before. And I heard that this was better. And so I thought I would give it a try. He eats it and then he has the basically the same experience as everyone else did. The, the next part of the episode is... Denki and Iwabe are heading towards the academy so they can go and take the test but they notice that there is a building on fire and they want to help but then they're like if we don't uh, if we don't go to the academy we could potentially fail the test and such other things and then the woman is immediately, immediately like well my children are up there and I don't want them to die because they're my kids fuck you Iwabe is just like well fuck I Someone's gotta help, I guess. And then he just runs towards... He just runs towards the fucking burning building. He gets in there, he's trying to help out the kids. And then meanwhile, whilst uh, Denki and Iwabe are trying to help out in the bur burning building with the kids in there, uh, Enojin... Uh, t this ties into what happened earlier before, like I said. But Enojin and Boruto and Shikadai are wondering where the hell those two are. And then Enojin's probably like, it's probably from those burgers you had him fucking eat yesterday they probably made him sick and he says it with a dead on straight ass face and I don't know if it was intentionally supposed to be funny I thought it was pretty funny to be honest I, I don't know why uh, Denki and Iwabe are trying to get the kids out of there the burning building of course so it's gonna be a little bit hard uh, then they kind of just use the skills that 
they taught each other mainly with just being able to climb up the wall and then you know reading books and such other sort of things with the, with the uh, Iwabe kind of helped them understand how to activate the sprinklers that were in the building because apparently those didn't work for whatever reason <clears throat> and then actually we do get a shot of apparently they have firefighters now and I was like oh okay that's oddly interesting I guess I don't really get it but in the episode they actually show off uh, firefighters there and I was wondering are they gonna like use hoses or like water water release ninjutsu or something and they have scrolls on their back and then like a hose that's like on the bottom of where the scrolls are are like tied to each other I guess and then they're standing there and then they're shooting off basically a water style ninjutsu of course to be able to take out the fire uh, skip forward a little bit they get there they uh, boards was like it might have been my fault they're not here the Shino and he's like I just want them to be able to pass and you know become a shinobi because they're my friends they show up uh, they're explaining of what happened and stuff like that and then Shino's like it, it's not really that big of a deal for you to take the test because you showed off skills that show that you are worthy to become a shinobi so you pass and there's not really anything else to talk about in the rest of the episode it's just them kind of celebrating that they passed and then it's the end of the episode and that's pretty much it this is a really heavily f uh, filler episode uh, like I said already in the beginning of the episode but I didn't mind it I didn't really mind it because it gravitated towards more different characters rather than Boruto and I was kind of interested in wondering when it was honestly gonna happen and it finally happened so it's whatever I guess um, of course it's not gonna be like super uh, like gritty like how like uh, an episode would be in part one and ship it in obviously it's still very lighthearted and it didn't feel like there was like any sense of danger whatsoever but like I said, I didn't really mind it. It wasn't really that bad of an episode. I would say it's probably one of the better episodes to come out of the last couple weeks and such other things. You know, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. But, you know, what can you honestly do? You know, I keep saying, you know, a lot and it's kind of bothering me a little bit. But, what can I say? I like the episode. I... You could skip out on it, it's fine if you do, because it doesn't progress through the plot and the story, but if you do want to watch it, I would say it's pretty good. I enjoyed it personally, but, you know, everyone always can watch whatever episodes they want. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, and if you want to see content just like this, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have like, a fantastic day. Also, if videos come out later than usual, it's because I've sucked my life into Persona 5 and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna end the video here. Subscribe, leave a like, have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.